So, uh, adrift in space, completely in darkness. Well, electricity, who cares? How would they keep from freezing to death? So you met up with a little boy named Lil Baskins who could, like, slice a grasshopper in half with his eyes closed. It was amazing and horrifying. So you're all Shadowrunners. You're on a Shadowrunning team. We all know this. So you cut yourself open right in the torso. You're bleeding pretty heavily. So many things. I'm, I'm really, I'm really just firing on all cylinders today. A gorilla sprouts up. He's 20 feet tall. He's beating his chest, which is on fire. It was time to bone out, and Eve used a flaming gorilla illusion spell to cover their escape. Meanwhile, back at the truck, Eve and Dr. Friends explored their real feelings for each other and shared a tender kiss while the Johnson sat by awkwardly. But for one goose in Portland, he will have a gander. I knew I saw that. I'm Nancy there. Klein, NPR News. Last time on Harmontown Shadow Town. Last time on Harmon Time Shadow Run. Last time on Harmon Town's Shadow Run. We found our gang separated from each other and feeling strangely sexual. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you guys, you're at Hank's Last Stand. It's a rusty old bar. Very strict security. They've got vibration sensors, cameras, and guards. <laughs> oh my. There's also tear gas fucking everywhere. You're choking on the floor. You see all sorts of delicious Salads, real salads, not oh. the fake shit. The human brain can shift items and make them look really crazy. <laughs> Cut to <laughs> a ro Rolling Stones cue blares as we cut to the inside of a cyber tavern. You feel some shit's gonna go down. Let's rock and roll. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah. Uh. Last run on Shadow Time, Harmon Town Time Shadow. I'm I'm on I'm on that absinthe right now. Oh, you drank? Did you drink some of? Yeah, some of Jane's absinthe. I yeah. might have drank more than other people who drank it. Oh, do you want to try some? <laughs> Spencer, did you try? Uh no, no. Spencer's not a real alcohol guy. No, nah, it makes me sick. I get my, my joints start to ache. You're outside of a chain-linked parking lot All right. nearby a dead gas station. Jim Nightblade leaps off the top of the gas station and launches himself into the fray, firing while yelling semi-sarcastically, Oh, look at me! <laughs> Laying hands on Eve Libertine, magical energy surges forth, re your wounds and refreshing your mind. <laughs> All right, um, training montage, right? Right. Not a little fine, and I'm running out of power. All right, you find several small children staring at you creepily. If you zip your uh, dick into uh, a swimsuit, which, by the way, don't get a swimsuit with a zipper. I was Mistake say. number one. Right. In the ocean, sharks will come. Cliffhanger! Last town on harm and run. The gang, taking an unusual heist of antique MP3s, decided that the easiest way to open a musical lock was to visit a conservatory run by creepy children. Wow, my phone just turned blue. Have you ever seen a blue screen on an iPhone? That's yeah, no the, good. Well, the new one came out, so yeah, yeah, good point. So the, all of all of these are dying. Uh, let's 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 bring Game Master Spencer Crittenden out. Game Master. Shit! <laughs> All right. All right. 
Let's welcome Spencer Crittenden to the stage, shall we? Hello, Spencer. You're a friend. Thanks, man. As you've noticed, I have six. Like, so that's a big deal. Spencer, look him in the eye when he says this to you. I, I look him right in the stomach when he's talking to <laughs> me. Fondue and Bone Weevil, you're at the Earth Scar Ale House, the local tavern around these parts. They offer all sorts of services like flesh replacements and flesh treatments and also brain zapping. <laughs> The place is full of circular booths with hookahs. There's people sitting at the hookahs. There's all sorts of businessmen. There's magic. There's all sorts of things that need human test subjects. Walls covered by huge flat panel screens depicting calming scenes of nature. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Yeah, you don't have to do it. Don't feel weird. Oh, she's doing it. All right. I don't think I have any lesbian questions left. Mm. Um, well, uh, did, what, what was the mar- What was the wedding like? Like, how is the process? Is this offensive? How's the process of planning a, a wedding? Sure. Well, we got fitted for our Birkenstocks together. <laughs> <laughs> Women need more access to bathrooms than men do per unit space in in a proper urban planning situation. Yeah. Okay, what's What's going on in the world of politics? Oh, let me tell you guys. The Iowa caucuses are upon us. People are caucusing. They're out there hitting the pavements. Real shoe leather work by the the real working men and women of Iowa, gentlemen. What do you think the difference is between the white caucus and the black caucus? Probably the color. (laughs) Spencer, well, you're, uh, aside being newly promoted vice comptroller. Okay. uh, Or as as far as I'm concerned, (laughs) as far as I'm concerned... Yeah, co- co-comptroller status. Like, a, oh man, v- Vice makes it sound like you are like you're subordinate to my comptrolling. Well, I think I I'm, I'll, I'll make that call. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's subordinate. He's he's. It's, I'm that's lower. Fine. I'm down here. This table is I'm off the stage. Now you pick another fighter who you can try yeah. and beat a queen armed with a sniper rifle because that's the fight. You okay. see? Okay. You see? Dino, <laughs> Dino, what were you doing? Here we go. In the world of Gamma Potato, you're all inside a giant hand. A finger comes inside that hand, and you open a door on the tip of that finger, and you go into that finger. I was a dungeon master. A master! Yeah, yeah, right. Sure you were. And I'm Jackie Robinson. <laughs> Get any Oscar opinions? You don't care. Oh no, I don't really watch the Oscars. It's all, I mean, uh, it's all white people. Well, Pixar are racist. It's what? It's they're just awards. It's like, what does that mean? You like what you like. Isn't that the thing that matters? Like, who cares what other people like? Get me God. <laughs> it's time. Hello. Oh, look, it's the sun and the moon. Oh, shit, there's a monster man. Got my new balance shoes. Now I'm running as fast as I can. Spencer's gonna... Spencer's going to sit in front of a table for absolutely no reason. Well, what if I have to, you know... uh, uh, you, we haven't spoken to you for a while. You've been sitting over there, and I, I was no. It's it's I, all I, good. I, I don't have very much input on movies or comedy routines or famous people or experiences with them. I just you know it's all good. I just if I had uh, things to contribute, you all know right, I would. All right. I, I have a thing against games where the idea is let's come up with it right now. <laughs> One of your balls grows back this season. <laughs> but it's a dragon egg. <laughs> or is it Loveless? Ada Loveless. Do, do the no, Br- do Ada the, Lovelace. Do the British pronounce Lovelace Loveless? I, th- I think they pronounce a lot of things a lot of ways. 
But All it's I like, know is like, she's like the love. mother of modern computing. Yep, she wrote the first. She algorithm. wrote the very first lines of code. <laughs> Let's bring out Spencer Crittenden. You know what? Scratch that. I forgot he's not here. I guess in a pinch, let's bring out Rob Schraub. I hate everything. It's no good. My grandpa's dead. He's fine. When's the last time you shit your pants, Spencer? Uh, I think I was like uh, 19 or something. It was just a fart gun awry, yeah. Right outside of a Taco Bell, fittingly. Wow. <laughs> I asked Spencer what his title is. He said, no title. He also asked that I specifically did not use his last name. Because he's this show's Madonna. Madonna, yeah. You look good, girl. I think I need a table next time. Next time I'm on the show. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do with that table? <laughs> Nothing, I guess. Maybe you could use it to uh, distant... Or, uh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe you can use it to stutter and emotionally distance yourself from the people on stage. It, it, is, it is so weird. We bring Spencer out first, and he sits in the corner, and we never talk to him. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean... And minutes. now you're bringing me out. <laughs> going anywhere. I'm going to be right here. Right in the corner of your eye for the rest of your life. Mocking you. I am your guest comptroller, Spencer Crittenden. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. That's very kind. But please give it up to the person you're really here to see. The mayor of Harmon Town, Mr. Dan Harmon! Thank you. Thank you. Were you sad, Spencer? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was all busted up. <laughs> Are you being re- sarcastic? Oh, no, no, not at all. <laughs> Hardest man to read. I didn't get a lot of sleep. Let me tell you what happened when I was trying to go to sleep last night. Okay, great. I was going to go to sleep. I'm laying down, laying down on my bed. I'm re- relaxing. I got a fart. And I fart, and I just shit all over the place. Just so much shit. I'm like lightheaded and I'm getting dizzy from all the shit and I can't move and I'm just paralyzed. You, you shit so much you be, you you depleted your your the yeah. blood flow to your brain. Yeah. It was terrifying. And then I woke up there? and it was sleep paralysis and I was completely dry but it was really terrifying oh, because I thought I like was literally shitting my brains out. <laughs> Wait, so you, and then I couldn't get back to sleep for like hours. Wait, wait, you, you had not shit yourself. No, I didn't even have to shit. <laughs> it's just a hallucination, totally not happening. Right, right, right. But somehow your mind just interprets it as happening. Of course, of that's course. all it is. It's magic. You feel the pussy surround your penis. It is wet and tight as you'd imagine. C- coming and warm to the as a microwaved cantaloupe. Hidden information, like the boiling point of steel. What's the boiling point of steel? Have we spoken to Spencer at all yet? Did we even say hi to Spencer? Oh, hi, Spencer. Hey, Spencer. I say hi to Spencer three times a day. Spencer's mic doesn't seem to be on. <laughs> He's Spencer's, doing a thing. Spencer's doing a bit. Oh. <laughs> this, is, this is called mute protest. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer, before we get to Ryan Ridley, did you enjoy your Comic-Con experience? Oh, it was great. Every year, it's great. (laughs) Did you guys know that for a long time, shoes existed before they figured out to make left and right versions of them? There was just neutral shoes for a long time. (laughs) That makes sense, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. I love it. (laughs) Carry on. And it's midnight, and I know it's midnight because there's this Muppet-style grandfather clock. (laughs) And he strikes midnight, and when he strikes midnight, he shoots arrows into my body. Oh, my God! And I get struck by 12 arrows 
It was a recurring nightmare I had. Dealing 20 damage. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Since we stopped playing D&D, what's the point of him having a table, by the way? Why, why doesn't he just sit up here like... like, like I could flip it if I get mad enough. <laughs> Guest Comptroller Spencer Crittenden. Yes. Casper is an obsessively an obsessively engineered mattress at a shockingly low price. Now, as a as a cool kid, does that appeal to you in any way? <laughs> Spencer, what are your thoughts about murder? Um, I'm for it. I am your Comptroller Jeff Bryan Davis. This guy, he's like on two shows as an actor. He's executive producing, and he's your chauffeur. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't look up to Bruce Lee? He's fucking perfect. He embodies like physical, you know, acuity, violence in a healthy way. That's not like. Well, I mean, also, it's, he's a philosopher. It's hard to deny that violence is part of, you know, at least the traditional masculine identity in some form. Are we Spencerless tonight? Dude, let's not bring out Spencer, sadly. No Spencer. I'm just so excited that I never had to deal with that razor fortune again. Hi, Spencer. Hey, guys. <laughs> Spencer, tell me about your personal experience with Hentwater apple flavor. I had the apple flavored one. <laughs> no, seriously, it was great. I had it. They sent it to us. It tasted like apples. Oh boy, I had it. Whoa, yo, yo. Don't fuck kids, they're too young. That's our show, everybody. Good night. Thank you so much. Thank for you coming. to Apple. Uh, thank you to Evan Shapiro. Thank you to Mary Hulan. Thank you for the Gramercy Theater and everyone who helped us put on the show. Thanks to you. All right, Harmon Town is out of session. And it's time to transform this phobic into the end of the show. I'm Barbara <laughs> Klein, good. NPR <laughs> News. <laughs> right. Spencer is now sitting over here in kind of Kumail Nanjiani territory. Yeah, I feel like I get where he was coming from now, sitting on this side of the stage. I just feel like I'm together and we got to, you know, like talk to Dan over here. Yeah. But it's great. I mean, you definitely rose to beyond Kumail or even Harmon status uh, in New York. Like, uh, for those of you who heard oh. the New York show, Spencer did a great job. We were Jeffless, and Spencer stood up, st- stepped up. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Uh, yeah. And then we elected a Nazi. We are in this post-fact world, and it's like Democrats have to decide, are we going to be post-truth or are we going to be truth-truth? And so I think what you're talking about is valuable. But I would say that my trepidation is that Republicans and the GOP are bathed in lies, and they're bathed in dishonesty, and that's, that's their wheelhouse. So the idea that we're going to be able to fight on that level strikes me as kind of, I don't know, it's just because we're, we're noobs, and they're like, you know, they're the mob, kind of. I, I don't know if I should do an impression of Spencer, or I'm just trying to be scared. <laughs> I, yeah. I, for one, would, I, for one, would like to hear you try. Okay. Yeah. That happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that dog, that dog eats all that underwear. Yeah, that dog. Maybe. That dog really does that. Maybe Man. you shouldn't leave it on the floor. In Australia, there's literally monsters. Like, I don't, there's, there's things that'll kill you in all the places, like polar bears, holy shit. But that's not a monster, that's a beast. Like, if you have to use weapons to kill an insect, that's a fucking monster. An angel is a ghost, but, but, but you... Whoa, but... whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> An angel's a holy creature created as a, as a servant to the Lord. <laughs> a ghost is a departed spirit of the living. Yeah, but... <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> and that was a Spencer Crittenden logic moment. I, I have one wheelhouse, and it's knowing what monsters are. And the first thing Spencer said, having taken in that much of Australia, was, hot Canada. If I go to Thailand, I'm like, it's like hot Australia. It's just, and then I'll go to China, and I'll be like, it's like big Thailand. It's like cold, Russia is like cold China. That's all, it's just the last place I've been to. 
if you were a like seagull, this. you didn't know there was a boy pretending to be at the beach. Yeah, that's the whole point. That's all I'm doing. It's tricking them into thinking I'm not there. All right. I should get up. You get it, right? In terms of youngness of popes, if you want to sell it on the premise of a young pope, you got to go younger than Jude Law. That's like less old pope. Well, you know what you do. <laughs> uh, the Trump uh, election is kind of similar to uh, insane clown posse followers, the juggalos, <laughs> where they've created this community that basically exists to say fuck you to anything that would say fuck you to my community. Spencer, can you, can you stand up and show us physically how you would fight off an attack by <laughs> no, man, a, a, that's a, a bunch of Republican senators who are trying to close down the, uh, the EPA? So you lay down with a towel over your head. <laughs> and you put a bunch of Cheetos out. I like no guests. I, I think some of our best shows. Are I can leave. No <laughs> <laughs> I, I drove by Schraub today while he was uh, walking his dog, and then we texted back and forth, and then it culminated in, in me just saying he should come on the if show. You, if you were in like uh, earshot of me walking my dog, you could have heard me Siri going, a, a, a text Dungeon Master. <laughs> what do you want to say to Dungeon Master? I love you. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. There is a solar system that has multiple Earth-like planets? There's like seven new Earth-like exoplanets or something. That's it? Revolving around a single star solar system. Something Only like one that. star? <laughs> I think the ants that we get a lot are like piss ants, right? They love bathroom stuff. They, they eat piss. They drink piss. They're a lot like Donald Trump in that way. Imagine being an ant... <laughs> You're very passionately anti-gun. I know a lot. I know a lot of things. And here's what I know. Guns kill people. I don't want to kill people. I got to say, Dan, I, 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 I know you don't like people. being like a uh, game saver, but I, I don't like the gun thing. Spencer, how are you? Hey, guys. I'm good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We got off the, airpo- uh, off the plane in Tulsa at the airport, and I, I lost Spencer for a moment. People were just taking pictures with him. He, he's like a There's celebrity. one person. There's a one person. Person. Look, I don't want to keep harping on it, but again, he got more applause than me, I think. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, I'm I don't fine get with it. it. I'm fine with it. I'm processing it well. I'm fine. It makes sense to me. I'm, co- I'm okay with it. I don't get it. Uh, but I said, hey, Spencer, how are you doing? And you were like, hey, guys, you're, you're playing to them, not no, me. No, that's just, it's a bit. It's just, that's what I do. But also, no, I say, hey, guys, to you guys. I put I put on whatever outfit will walk the line between me being branded a slut and uh, me being dismissed as a human being. You managed to thread the needle once more like millions of women across the earth do every morning of their lives. <laughs> Slutty outfit! There's some goblins coming. You look at Steve Bannon and you you look, you think he must sound like oh, all these Jews, but he sounds, <laughs> but he sounds kind of like oh, you know, all these Jews. <laughs> What's it called? The uh, D- Dunning Dunning Kruger Dun- Donner yeah, Kruger what? Dunning Kruger yeah. Donner Party. Right? Yeah. I've been I've been having that spit at me on on Twitter. What is this? It's, I don't know what that is. It's, it's, it's when you're an idiot, you think that everyone else is an idiot because you can't conceive of even average intelligence. From Meltdown Comics, it's the very last show that we're gonna do here. With a lump in my throat, it's my honor to tell you that Harmon Town is now in session. With a lump in my pants, let's bring out Spencer Crittenden. You want to dance, I miss? Uh, no, Mark Wahlberg, uh. I don't. Come on, come on. Why don't you want to dance with me? Come on. I think you're a wonderful man, but I'm with Ryan Ridley it on a date. Doesn't seem like he's uh, talking to you much. I mean, I beg your pardon, but that's none of your business. Oh, okay. Well, you know. I'll dance with somebody else. Hey, Spencer, do you want to dance with me? I'm Jeremy Renner. Hey. You guys hey. want some water? Okay. You guys need some water? Hey, I like that callback. Why don't you dance Jeremy with me? Jeremy Renner. Hey. It was the second time I had got high, 
And we were in my friend's car, and I showed him my dick. Did he... Was he asking? No. <laughs> was, it, was it like the beginning of the Twilight Zone m- movie? <laughs> Where Dan Aykroyd goes, Hey, you want to see something really scary? <laughs> And you turn around and you pull out your dick and it's all blue with white hair. Did it say, thanks for getting me high and Sharpie on it or something? Yeah. Or what was it? <laughs> and there was like a, a comedy whistle noise. <laughs> was, was, there something, uh, was there something wrong? Like, were you asking for advice? Uh, <laughs> were no, you saying no, help? I was giving him advice in a way. <laughs> uh, I think no one should ever sneeze. I think if I, I, I hold in my sneezes, I'd say like 95% of the time, and I'd say it's the right thing to do. Yeah, you should put your phone notes on the screen behind you. Well, the, then the people can just see. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> It'll speed things up. What have I done? I'll tell you some things about Spencer since he's not here. I moved into this new space because people kept saying I that would come in from out of town. I want to see Spencer. So I like lifted him up and put him over there, put a, a mannequin behind him and but and now he can't show up because you know why? You know where he is? He's uh he's he's Being whale famous. hunting. He's out hunting what? whales. For sport and uh, and he hates the fans, hates them, doesn't doesn't like them, isn't grateful for them. He considers them a pox. Um, I never really found out why. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, hit it. From, from beautiful uptown Burbank, Harmontown is now in session. Spencer Clinton. You went to some sort of Pathfinder affair. No, no, I was hunting whales. <laughs> Did you okay. catch any? Yeah, I murdered three, and uh, as the life was being squeezed out of their supple necks, I was just imagining them as all the fans. <laughs> Jesus. Listen to the podcast. Just murdering wow. the fans. Wow. I, didn't, I didn't even know whales had necks. Yeah. Oh, they do. I got a gun. Yeah, I'm Yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill myself with it. Don't do that. Eventually. Don't, don't. You, what, you want me to die of a stomach ulcer? Yeah. Oh man, I hope you die of a stomach ulcer. Alright. So you guys you're in like a, a horse drawn wagon together because you've been you're you've been dispatched on this mission. Um yeah. Spencer, do you ever sing in the shower? Uh, yeah, I sing in the shower. Do you sing anywhere else? Do you sing in the car? Or do you like sing? Yeah, I, I really let loose in my car. I, I, if, if there was a camera in my car, I'd be in prison, I think. <laughs> I just, I really, I just scream, like just scream onomatopoetic sounds. Just By the way, wh- where the fuck are we? That was a crazy place, huh? That was. Whatever. All right, so we're going to play our second round of our new campaign of Pathfinder, everybody. <laughs> Yeah. Water is a, it's a magical, a magical, <laughs> it's not magical, that's, that's, if I'm trying to get you interested in science, I shouldn't call things magical. Uh, you should, I, would, I, should, I should, I should write a book about wizards or something, and if I wanted to, uh, the, the, You the, should write a book about wizards. I, I, good. And you know what? It's not hard! <laughs> Spencer, what's going on uh, in the, uh, politics? Oh, <laughs> let me tell you. Spencer, politics corner! Health and safety is a big part of governmental responsibility towards society. Last time on Harmon Time. What happened? Um, you guys had just finished the fight, and uh, you beat the ghost. No, you beat the demon freeing the ghost, and it took you to the graveyard. You made a costume of the cows and went out to be bait. There were horses that were great. Oh boy, those horses. But the horses were slaughtered. Oh boy. That's all. That's about all that happened, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Ah, oh, I smell like piss. Last we left, some, some weird shit was going down, so uh, hip us to the jive, if you would. When last we left, some weird shit was going on. <laughs> the vampire escaped in the form of a mist, leaving our heroes high and dry in the Priory. Last time. What happened? <laughs> all right, who dumped you? What? People dump me all the time and I don't bring it up, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. No, it's a joke. <laughs> you find yourself on a high road. <laughs> It's treacherous goings. <laughs> no, what happened? Man, if Joker, Joker and the Riddler teamed up, it would be confusing because you would be like, yeah, is this a riddle or is this a joke? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They well, should change it. They should change it. Because if they fixed it, it would be famous. I miss right. Jeff. I miss Jeff. Last time. I'm, I miss our friendship. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to start the D&D. We could just keep this going. Last time. Turned out the banditos were assassins. That was it. It's definitely bad to deprive your brain and body of oxygen, and I would not be surprised if it did cause... But also that depends on the mixture, because if you go like half air and half nitrous, I don't know how bad that is for your brain. You know what you sound like? A so, nitrous oxide dealer. Oh, no. <laughs> Can we... Is, 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 is it irresponsible podcasting for us to get a tank and some balloons for our next show? No! No, no. no. Oh, let's do it! So your heart's broken. You know what else is broken? A baby's skull. You know why? So it can grow into an adult skull. Oh. There you go. Oh, That's oh, basically the I same can, thing. I think I could be. I think I could talk you that. Can, all right, so there's this ancient um, Japanese art of quote? pottery. You know, sometimes their pots break, and they actually have this this method of of reforging the pottery pieces with gold inlay. Yeah. And it's actually yeah. it's more beautiful than it it was yeah. before it was broken. And that's you. You're gonna be all that's ribboned it. with gold, and it'll be better. Thank you, Spencer. Spencer. Because the fire marshal shut us motherfucking down last Saturday, Harmontown is now in session from the confines of the recording studio. Spencer, how are you? Great. Hey, guys. You guys hear about these Chinese murder vans? <laughs> there's bodies of facts to support any position, and there's a book on this and a book on ghosts, and then it kind of gives the idea that completely non-scientific kind of non-intellectual things can have the auspices of intellectuality and kind of the responsible credibility of something that's real and that kind of created a world where people can feel comfortable just being right all the time and creating new systems that create ways that they're right and so everyone's kind of ensconced themselves in these silos of thinking that have kind of just existed uh, concurrently and not ever butted into each other why is it called lamb's yeah, bread? yeah what do you think lamb's bread is? That sounds it's like just a, a flavor of no, I know, but like if lambs if well, it existed, well I think it's once good. upon a time there was a strain called God's breath. I believe it might have been a, a relative to God's gift, but God's breath happened, and it got changed to God's bread over time. It kind of got bred into God's bread, and then God's bread colloquially got renamed lamb's bread in some circles, or was bred into lamb's bread. So it's it's God's breath kind of bastardized three generations or so. I can't believe you actually know the answer to that. We are back at our old home, but we are not violating any uh, permits that I know of because yeah. there's no audience. What will happen? Who will do? What will see? How will be? Harm in time. Now. Last time. On Harmon Quest. Harmon Town. <laughs> Harmon Town. Oh, yeah. Harmon Quest is a TV show. Oh, shit. From Uptown Burbank, Harmon Town is now in set. Somebody make a meme out of that shit. No. 
Yeah, I think my hair is at a length where it starts to become split ends and kind of disintegrates on its own. Yeah, so yeah. it's not really because hair will stop on its own. But if you cut off those split ends, it'll keep growing. You can make it grow quite long. All right, I might. So you get a point right for everyone answer. who guesses yours. So yeah. two people guessed yours. Right. So you're getting a total of three points. Because I did the phalluses on the overpass. Oh! Oh! Spencer just left. It's it. Ran off stage. He's lost his mind. He's back on stage. Rolled on stage. Fire rolled on stage. And he's back to the chair, the which prints. did not roll away. He stuck the landing. I hope I win now. Yeah, I don't think anything bad will happen when it comes out officially that it turns out you can rig an election without consequence. I think going forward, it'll all be fine. Yeah. <laughs> that happens.